Why do most Team Fortress 2 traders struggle to hit those top tier profits? I've been there from my early days as a newbie and even up to an inventory worth thousands. I remember spending several hours a day trading, but often I saw no real results. It was like hitting a wall. I couldn't find any good offers. This cycle of effort without reward was draining. I got to a point where I was so unmotivated and burnt out that I actually quit trading for a while in mid-2018. But then I jumped back in, hoping things would be different, only to find myself in the same frustrating cycle for another year. I remember spending an entire day placing buy orders and random unusual hats with 30 keys, hoping anyone would dump me one. But after a week I had nothing. I just deleted them because bots would overcut me anyway. Since these trade bots instantly accepted trades and have auto pricing scripts to overcut, I thought, do I need to own a trade bot to make any real profit? I felt at such a disadvantage, trying to succeed in a game where bot owners raked in order profit. Imagine doing everything you can in order to make some profit. You're joining raffles, entering giveaways, putting trade advertisements on every Discord and your Steam name, watching every trading series from 2014, and even begging for free items. Yet your backpack isn't growing. This grinding cycle becomes increasingly frustrating. You're putting in all these hours, day after day, but your backpack value is the same. The more you do, the less it seems to matter. I realized there was a more effective way to trade. I needed to focus all my time and attention on what really matters in the game of trading. I call it the 80-20 rule. By focusing on high leverage activities, I found that I was actually working a lot less but achieving a lot more profit. It was almost like I had discovered a way to be lazy and yet become more profitable. My inventory started growing at a pace I have never seen before, all while putting in fewer hours. Imagine if you applied this same principle to your TF2 trading. Picture yourself focusing on only those few important activities that really drive profit, effectively reducing the hours you need to put in. Envision your inventory growing more significantly than ever before. Not because you're working harder, but because you're working smarter. Now I'll be breaking down the key mistakes many traders make and outlining the specific activities you should concentrate on to maximize your profits and become a top 1% trader. Mistake 1. Constantly joining raffles and giveaways. Let's talk about a common mistake in TF2 trading. Getting caught up in raffles and giveaways. I've been there myself, especially on sites like Scrap.tf. I've entered 2,040 raffles and ended up winning only 16, with profits amounting to less than half a key. The odds are just not in your favour, and even when you do win, the rewards are often minuscule. Hardly worth the time you invested. Puzzle raffles are another rabbit hole. You spend time cracking the password, but your chances of winning remain slim. It's important to realise these activities are more than just harmless fun. They're massive distractions. They divert your attention and waste time that could be far better spent. If you stumble upon a raffle or giveaway, sure, join it if you feel like it. But if you're actively spending time seeking these out and participating regularly, you're missing the bigger picture. That time and attention could be channeled into active trading where your efforts are more likely to pay off in a significant increase in your inventory value. Remember, in trading, where you focus your energy makes all the difference. Mistake 2. Constant advertisement. I want to highlight the overuse of trade advertisements, particularly in Discord servers and even in your Steam name. Many traders fall into the trap of thinking that plastering trade ads everywhere will boost their success. In reality, these efforts don't often yield the same results you might expect. It becomes a daily habit, something you might even mistake for productive work. But in truth, it's often a form of procrastination, a diversion from more effective trading strategies. Moreover, constantly advertising yourself as a hardcore trader in your Steam lane or elsewhere can actually be counterproductive. It might intimidate potential trading partners who could think you're solely focused on extracting maximum profit, potentially scaring them off. The strategy of widespread advertising isn't just ineffective. It's a misallocation of your valuable time. Time that, again, could be better spent on direct, strategic trading that actively grows your inventory. Mistake 3. Watching outdated content. A critical error many traders make is relying too heavily on outdated trading content. It's easy to fall into the trap of watching endless trading series or tutorials from years ago, but the TF2 market is ever evolving. Strategies that were effective in 2014, for instance, may not apply in today's trading environment. This mistake is more than just a misstep. It's about spending valuable time absorbing information that may no longer be relevant or effective. While understanding the history and evolution of trading can be useful, Relying on these outdated methods as your primary strategy can lead you astray. Your focus should be on current market trends, up-to-date strategies, and contemporary trading dynamics. This means seeking out current resources, learning from active top-tier traders, and staying abreast of the latest updates in the game. Time spent on outdated content is time not spent on actionable, present-day strategies that could genuinely enhance your trading success. Now, I could spend time warning you not to beg for items, but it's pretty self-explanatory why that's a waste of time and only leads to getting blocked. But let's pivot to something less obvious, but far more impactful. The 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle. This rule suggests that in many areas of life, 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. 
For example, 80% of health problems can be attributed to 20% of causes, such as poor diet, lack of exercise, or stress. Similarly, 80% of fitness results could come from 20% of exercises or activities, indicating the effectiveness of certain types of training or workouts over others. Another example, 80% of what you learn or remember comes from 20% of the educational material or study time. This principle is seen in the effectiveness of focusing on key concepts or using effective study methods like active recall and spaced repetition. Applied to TFT trading, this means that majority of your profits will likely come from a small portion of your actions. So what does this look like in trading? It's about honing in on two key actions that truly matter for profit. Buying the right items and selling them effectively. Selling is the easier part. Just list your items on marketplace.tf or backpack.tf classifiers and wait for the right offers. The crucial aspect, and where the 80-20 rule really comes into play, is in your buying strategy. It's probably a specific niche or two in the market where you can excel. It could be sniping items on the community market that no one else is looking at, or sieving through the most popular unusual hats on the classifieds and sending that fast offer on negotiating for a good price. Or you specialize in buying strange parts, paints, spells for normal price, and resell for a higher price. And none of these tasks should eat up more than 10 to 20 minutes of your time per day. These targeted, high impact actions, just 20% of what you do, are likely to contribute to 80% of your profit potential. This is the essence of the 80-20 rule in TF2 trading, focusing on the most effective activities and mastering them. Imagine the opposite of spending 80% of your effort in trading to only see 20% of the results. That's not just inefficient, it's theoretically 16 times less effective than focusing on your high leverage task. By targeting the right 20% of your actions, the ones that truly drive profit, you achieve significantly more with much less effort. This is the power and efficiency of the 80-20 rule and is a game changer in how you approach trading. So an actionable step for you right now is to write down what those most important tasks for you to do in trading are and literally do them every day and watch your inventory value skyrocket over the next few months. And that's a wrap on our deep dive into the 80-20 rule in TF2 trading. I hope this video has opened your eyes to the power of focusing on high leverage activities and avoiding common pitfalls that waste time and effort. If you found this insights valuable, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Your support really makes a difference. And don't forget to share your thoughts or experiences in the comments. Are there any high leverage activities you found particularly effective? Thanks for watching. Remember in the world of TF2 trading, it's not just about hard work, it's about working smart. Until next time, keep focusing on what truly matters and watch your trading game soar to the new heights. See you with the next video.